Italy v England, Euro 2020 finalists meet looking to regain lost momentum. Both England and Italy are looking to reclaim momentum 439 days after the Euro 2020 final at Wembley, which ended in sorrow on the field and animosity off it. England lost on penalties following a 1-1 draw, compounding the misery of a 55-year way to reach a major final. It was a day marred by rampant hooliganism, a lack of crowd control as Tickness England supporters assaulted barricades, and racial insults received by Marcus Rashford, Jadon Sancho, and Buke Osaka after missing penalties in the shootout. England and Italy meet at one of global football's most famous stadiums, the San Siro, with the Euro final feeling a lifetime away and both wanting to forget disappointing results in their past games. Gareth Southgate's England may utilize these two nations' league games against Italy and Germany to escape relegation and as World Cup previews. Italy's fall from favour after their Wembley success was so rapid and severe that they would miss the World Cup after losing to North Macedonia and Palermo. Italy coach Roberto Mancini had enough Furo's credit to escape that humiliation, but all eyes will be on his side when they lost 5-2 in Germany in their final game. The first time anybody has scored so many goals past the Azuri since 1957. England must also end a four-game win-less streak, their worst since 2014 under Roy Hodgson. Since losing to Italy at Wembley, they've won seven, drawn four, and lost two. The excitement and patriotic fervor that led Southgate and England to the Euro 2020 final has weaned, and failing to win on home spoil is now seen as a squandered chance. Since losing to Italy, has England improved? They haven't proven it. After England's 4-0 defeat to Hungary at Molyneux in June, Southgate faced the full fury of supporters for the first time. Offstage chuntering over his perceived conservative approach erupted loudly into the public realm. Southgate led England to the World Cup semi-final in Russia in 2018 before the Euro 2020 final, demonstrating he knows what he's doing. Harry Kane was disappointed when questioned about the management. Southgate is England's safest manager. The FA admires his character, record, and contributions. He has a deal until December 2024, meaning he may leave whenever he wants. After the Hungary loss, he seemed more world-weary than normal, and he even declared, I won't outstay my welcome. Southgate needs performances and outcomes in these next two Nations League games to debunk the impression that England may have blown their great opportunity at Wembley in July and the conditions are unlikely to be as favourable again any time soon. Southgate's immediate priority is finalising his group to send to Qatar, with just these two games until he assembles the list of individuals he believes will show England are not nearly men and can finally win a major trophy since 1966. Brentford striker Ivan Tony was another outstanding pick and he joins Tammy Abraham in the fight to be Captain Kane's understudy. Jude Bellingham's superb Champions League performance for Borussia Dortmund against Manchester City last week raised the clamour for a starting spot. Aaron Ramsdale, who played in Arsenal's 4-0 defeat to Hungary, 
Newcastle United summer acquisition Nick Pope, and Manchester United loanee Dean Henderson will all want to replace Jordan Pickford. Manchester United captain Harry Maguire's participation will also be closely watched after he was omitted by Eric Ten Hag after a bad start to the season. Southgate's devotion to a player who has served him well ensured he remained in the group. It would boost England's confidence if they can leave the San Siro with a solid result, ideally a victory to clear the cobwebs of Molyneux.